I'm working on a new project and it's called On My Mind. For the next 31 days, I'll take up about a minute or two of your time with my thoughts, my tips, my opinions, my statements, and so much more. It's a season for me to express and to connect and try new things in my community with you. Now, the worst thing that could happen is that I'll offend some of you. I might have some conflict with some of my views. I might even lose some friendships. Now, the best case scenario is that I'll deepen already set relationships. I'll create new friendships. I'll open up the doors for places that we can have deeper dialogue and have healthy conversations, even within conflicts. So, day one. There is a cost of being you. Recently, I was a candidate for a place for me to serve and to be at. Unfortunately, my candidacy ended when they realized that who I was, that they had an issue with what I stood for and my opinions and my convictions. And because of that, I could have just met their opinions and really subsided to the status quo. But I said no. I stood my ground, my convictions that were deep in my soul, that were in my bones. I knew that what I was doing, there was a cost. And that cost, even though I didn't know the ultimate price of it, I knew that I needed to stand my ground to be firm. And that's what I did. Because some of you out there are different. And the cost of being you will cost you many things. Relationships, jobs, Your status, your image, vanity, and so much more. Maybe you just need to know that the cost, you don't know what the cost is going to be, but the cost can be far more if you don't allow yourself to be who you are because you're worth it. I'll see you for day two. Grace and peace to you.